What's going on guys, welcome to week six. Is it week six? Welcome to week six of Facebook Ads Friday. So if you're new here, every single week, we take a look at two proven, tried and tested Facebook ads and the drop shipping product that they're selling. So these are Facebook ads which either have millions of views or thousands of shares, thousands of comments, thousands of happy comments from customers posting pictures of the product that they've just bought. But the best thing about these ads are they are all still active. So they're all currently being ran, which shows that these products you're about to see are working right now. So if you're watching this video and you're still looking for that one product to commit to and try and make the most of what we have left of Q4, then I highly suggest one of the products in this video. Not only am I going to show you the products though, I'm going to give you essentially all of the inner workings and behind the scenes of these products too. So I will be showing you the Shopify stores that are selling these products too. If you're like me and you struggle to write captivating product descriptions, it's really helpful to have a tried and tested proven product description that you know is working that you can adapt and use as inspiration so we'll get to see all of that and last but definitely not least i'll show you where you can source and buy these products from so you'll get to see what you buy them for what the correct price to sell them for is and ultimately how much profit you can expect per sale so you know exactly what you can afford to pay per customer on the advertising platform that you choose with that being said guys thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in every single week of course and let's jump straight into ad number one. Okay, so Facebook ad number one. When I come across this, I have my own hesitations. I tend to stay away from things that I don't have some form of kind of interest or expertise in. And when it comes to handbags or cosmetics, any of that sort of thing, then I'm by no means an expert. So in times like this, this is where you have to put any kind of emotion to the side and focus on the data, focus on what is actually in front of you. And what's in front of us is a Facebook ad which has nearly 7,000 reactions, 2,000 comments, and nearly 1,000 shares. So basically what this product is, is it's a shoulder bag, a handbag in the shape of a Stegosaurus. It's a pretty cool, pretty unique product. It's obviously quite striking, um, and this is reflected in the engagement it's getting on social media. Those products are always a bit unique and never seen before. They're always the ones that tend to do the best because they're gonna be the ones that get attention. And that's what is key to a winning product is attention if you're advertising on a social media platform. Another reason why I love this product so much is because if you are on tight time scales, especially if you are still looking to make the most of Q4, you can get started super quickly with this product. You can have it up and running in the next day or so because you don't have to get any video content for it. The evidence is here, just a single image ad, single image ad is all you need. And you can very quickly get this from a supplier on AliExpress. If you've seen any of the previous weeks, you'll know and probably heard me say it time and time again, engagement does not always equal purchases. So let's take a look at the comments and let's see if anybody's actually buying this thing. So if we scroll down straight away, we can see Victoria 10 weeks ago posted a picture of herself wearing the product. We can see Megan from three weeks ago. She has the green stegosaurus. Angela, she got the green stegosaurus as well. And she says she gets compliments everywhere she goes. So this is really good. This shows that people out in the wild that haven't seen our business or seen our ad are also interested in the product. Emily here says she has the yellow one. Hannah here says she's got the pink one. Leah says she has the T-Rex one. Jess from four weeks ago says she has this and every time she carries it, it delights people. It's getting noticed, it's getting attention. Sarah says she's just bought one. And Christina down here from one week ago says she has the Triceratops. The Triceratops and the Rex bags in red. So many compliments. So it just goes to show people are buying this product and when they're wearing the product, people are interested in it and probably want to know where they're getting it from. So this is the Shopify store selling the product successfully. We can see there's a few different color variations. They have a white one, which I've not seen before. They're selling it for 32 pounds, which is perhaps a little bit on the low side. Me personally, I would like to see that a little bit higher, but the proof is in the pudding, the proof is in the comments, people are buying out of this, and it wouldn't have that level of engagement or amount of comments unless it was actually working and being profitable for these guys. I would class this as a fashion item. So when it comes to fashion items, you don't need to write essays about the product seeing people who have bought a product and who look good with the product and in increase their status with a product, that's what sells it. No matter what you write about this product, nothing is gonna sell it better than all these different pictures of people wearing it. And that's why their product description, their product page, 
majority is just pictures and reviews of people who have bought it and wore it. They do have a little bit of information in their product description using these drop downs, which is a nice feature. It kind of condenses everything, especially on a mobile device. So the user can get straight to the images and straight to the reviews without having to scroll miles and miles down the page and then miles and miles back up to hit that A to C button. So again, just more imagery demonstrating how cool and how unique the product looks. And they also have a track your order section, which, which I've not seen somebody do on a product page before. Um, and I really like this idea actually, because it's gonna be seen by the customer and it shows that they can track their order. As for the supplier then, these are the guys I found on AliExpress. Um, I'll just play this video in the background. There's some pretty decent content to be fair, which you could use as your Facebook ad and see how we get on. Single image ads tend to get cheaper CPM so you can reach people for a lot less money. If it was me though, or at least what I do, I like to test a few different creatives and a mixture of styles as well, or a mixture of formats. I like to do images, I like to do videos. So I'm basically leaving no stone unturned. I can find out exactly what's working and then double down on exactly what that is. This supplier is the Ashy Bag Store, 93% positive feedback, so not too bad. What's more important is the fact they've been in business since 2017, so they're pretty established and they have 16,000 followers. So all in all, I would say a great store. Um, they also have this 15 day delivery with an on-time guarantee for the UK. So definitely use these guys as a starting point but if you can source it locally and faster for an equivalent price, then definitely go for that. And so with that being said, that was Facebook ad and product number one. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please do me a favor of hitting that like button so I know what kind of content you guys enjoy. That way I can produce more of it. And with that being said, let's jump straight into Facebook ad number two, which is this cat brush. Now again, I tend to have my hesitations about really cheap products like this because it can be difficult to sell it for high enough to make a profit with Facebook ads. However, these guys have been running this ad for quite a while. It's got a significant amount of engagements, comments and shares, which again, just goes to show you have to put sometimes your own better judgment to the side, put your emotions to the side and focus on what's actually in front of you. So what we can see is it's basically a brush um, for getting the dead hair out of your cat or your dog. You could use it for both, I'm guessing. And then it has this pretty cool feature where you click the button and it pushes all of the hair off, saving you having to spend that time of pulling the hair out. And trust me, as a dog owner with a long head German Shepherd, then I feel that pain. So this definitely addresses and solves that pain point that most pet owners will have. As always though, we need to validate it with what real people are saying. Um, so let's take a look at the comment section. So two weeks ago, absolutely love this. So does my fur baby. So that would indicate that Catherine bought one. Gail here says her cats love this brush. Every morning they get brushed. That's a lot of brushing. So Gail's obviously bought this product. Alana says she has one one week ago. Lana says, amazing. My Smokey loves his brushing seven weeks ago. Tracy says her cats love being brushed. Liz says this is great, she uses it daily. Alex doesn't care about the brush, he just thinks the cat is adorable. This is why the pet niche is so good for social media because people just like watching videos of pets, cute pets. It doesn't necessarily have to be about the product and this is why pets stuff always sells well because it gets a ton of engagement from people like this and him commenting means that this ad will now pop up on his friend's newsfeed and says Alex Townsend posted or commented on this and that way this company is getting that organic reach without having to spend the money on it. Lindsay says her three boys absolutely love being brushed with this amazing brush. Shelly says her cats love this brush. Julie says this is the best brush. There's no doubt that people are buying this product and they absolutely love it. Let's take a look at the newest comments. So I've got newest selected up here. Five hours, six hours, seven hours, 15 hours, 15 hours, one day, one day. So people are still commenting on this very, very recently, which just proves this is current, active and working right now. There's even a comment from Mike who posted a picture of his cat who says he's just ordered one for his handsome boy. So that was one day ago, as little as one day ago, somebody had bought this product. As for the guys selling this product, they have a really nice product page. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the previous Shopify store was by far no means a typical and default setup of a product page. I'm seeing it more and more now. People are trying to distance their stores 
from those default templates that Shopify offer because by increasing the professionalism and using apps like gem pages to create really nice product pages like this it's going to make you look so much more professional separate you from anybody else selling that same product which in turn is going to lead to people buying it from you and nobody else so without spending too much time going through every single fine detail i'm just going to point out the good parts so for a start the gifts gifts are really great at capturing attention and they also have in lots of different places demonstrations of how it actually works so for example with this gift here they're showing the pain point which i mentioned earlier in the video and then they're showing how the product actually solves that problem this product page is actually really really extensive and they've got an faq here but it looks like a very custom faq it's not just a question they have these little custom icons which again all contributes towards the branding of the store and just how professional it is in comparison to anybody else selling this product and i can't stress enough the importance of this too many people skip their corners when it comes to their shopify store when paying a little bit more care and attention and investing in those handful of apps which are going to let you integrate things like this without any coding are really going to help separate your store from the competition and increase your chances of success. With that being said, let's finish the video off then by having a look on AliExpress to see who is selling this product and what we can buy it for. We can see there's multiple different sellers. The price ranges vary, but for one that looks most similar to what we just saw, there's 476 with free shipping, 320 free shipping, three pounds with free shipping 332 741 that's a bit more expensive six pounds two pounds two pounds that's a different one so you're looking probably in and around three four pounds in that region we can see these guys if we scroll back to the top are selling it for 26 pounds which leaves even for a cheap product like this a pretty decent profit margin of over 20 pounds per sale and so with that being said i'm going to wrap the video up if you're still watching thank you very much i really do appreciate it um, i hope you enjoyed the video i hope more importantly that you put what you've seen in this video into action and you make it work for you and you see some success in q4 thanks again and i'll see you in the next one